horsepower, triple seven. And then, Matt Fields' number, triple seven. Oh, what man. does it all mean? We need to go to the casino. <laughs> <laughs> Rome sharpens here, a finalist in English Town. It came up just a bit short to Travis Reeder, but that's what I was talking about. Just gaining a lot of eyeballs, a lot of impressions, and uh, a real, a real contender in competition. There is Matt Forsberg and sorry, Genova on, on the left side. Obviously, Turk is not there, but on the right side, you know, no real championship contenders on the right side of the bracket. Right. So he might beat them in the final. Might be, you know, pending on him. He's got to get to Rome first. Task at hand, exactly. one battle at a time. And that was his interview with Loren Nichols saying like, hey, you know, humble yourself. You know, he says, hey, you're, you know, maybe down a horsepower, here we go. This is a big battle right here. Rome Sharp is here, Malik, Garage Sick, BMW, like I said, second in E-Town. Matt Field has yet to win an event, but he currently is the championship. Come that first inside clip, both crash around it, approach that first outside zone, now in the second outside zone. Rome dialing in, see a little handbrake pull, then Looks like Matt Field center punching that second inside clip. Now coming that final outside zone, how are they going to handle it? Rome Sharp with Terry gets all the way out there. Matt Field comes up just a bit short. So I'll tell you what, a good lead run by Rome Sharp and Tier. You know, you're kind of looking at both runs. Well, I saw a couple of errors from Matt Field. So let's look at the replay and confirm what we saw in the live version. Nice and tight on inside clip. Number one, both pretty good on outside zone one, both pretty good on outside zone two. Fields following them really well. Well, Field center punches that inside clip, so that's the first big mistake that I saw from him. And then right here, Rome, nice and wide and outside zone one. Field on that tighter line. Field did not get a tire in the box and outside zone three, but he, that's what he needs to do in the chase position to show that he is able to mimic what the lead driver is doing. Right here, it looked like Rome may have left outside zone number two a little bit early. Matt Field not quite center punches the inside clip, but definitely the, the right side of that front bumper being contacted. Right there is one of the, the bigger uh, problems with the chase run from Matt Field, and that's missing outside zone number three while Rome filled it. So Rome uh, going into the chase position now needs to fill outside zone three if Matt does. Just needs to stick it to his door. Field going into the lead needs to run as good as Rome just did, and Pope just put together a really solid lead run. Put his car in all the right place. Keeping the tire under your car, do you have enough tire to finish it out? Because they're ripping through these, obviously, each battle. Here we go, Matt Field, the beast of the bay, out front, triple seven, comes now into 104 miles per hour. He talked about that speed, he said he's down to horsepower, but right now he's absolutely tuned up in that second outside zone. Look at the angle from him. You can see nothing but Falcon Tire wrapped around those board stars. Now coming down the last outside zone. Filling all of it? Yes, he does. He rides right there. Look at Rome Sharp is here. Great proximity from Rome. And he does drop a little tire, but he did not lose drift. He went and drifted across that finish line. A great execution by Rome Charpentier. Now keep in mind, remember in E-Town how busy Rome was? That gentleman had multiple one more time or on initiation. Yeah, so let's look at Matt Field's accuracy in the lead. He has to be as good as Rome was or better. He's off of inside clip one. He's in, he's in the green in outside zone number one. Great on outside zone two. You can see that in the chase, Rome is almost doing everything. Matt misses inside clip two but does a great job in outside zone number three. You can see that Rome is doing the exact same thing that Matt did in the chase. He's wow. making a compromise on line right there through zone three, but Matt missed a couple of key areas there, inside clip one and inside clip two. He was clean on everything else, but on Rome's lead, Rome was tight on everything. The only thing he did was miss the second half of outside zone number two in his lead run. So, you have to analyze the... There, you could see uh, you could see the graphic that's on the back of Rome's vehicle. Give Moderns hell. This is really tough. And, and a lot of pressure on the judges, uh, you know, just overall. But uh, let's take a look. I believe we got all in here. So slide them left for Rome, right for Matt Field. And we got... Again, our current points leader, the pressure mounts. Left for Rome, right for Matt Field. And that's a one more time across the board. One more time. And Ryan, you know, first battle, Matt. But there's, that's the attitude I love to see. Right on. Kudos to Rome Sharpens here. And, of course, Matt talking about what went down. Really love this. 
much amazingness right surrounding me right now. Rome, you came straight over and congratulated Matt on his win, and you had a few words to tell him. Yeah, I mean, the guy's a phenomenal driver. Like, he basically kind of taught me how to drive, so the, the chasing this guy down is insane. He doesn't know, but on the line, I took a selfie of us together, and then I was like, look at this, ah! And it just said, did it? Don't talk to me, don't look at me, yeah. In the zone, killing it. I mean, I, I pushed as hard as I could, and I mean, he was on my door through every transition, so flat out one, and man, I think he's gonna win tonight. I, it's, a, it's a bold statement for me right now, that after chasing a couple cars, I watched his line and his run. He's got it. And Matt, a, a real nail-biting moment, getting a one more time there. Yeah, we gotta remember, it's top 30. <laughs>